Let's talk a little bit about envelopes. I know we already sort of covered envelopes, but we can dash into it a little bit here because I want to talk about routing. I don't want to necessarily separate out the patch panel from the controlled parts as I did before, whatever controlled parts means. As it is normaled or hardwired, envelope generator one is directed to the to frequency modulation, which basically means it controls the pitch. Which we saw before. Envelope generator two is directed to the filters. Envelope generator two is also directed to the amp, the general output of the synthesizer. So in every instance where you want envelope generation to affect your filter, I've just added the envelope generator. I've jacked it up in the, the low pass cutoff frequency modulation. And I set envelope generator two to something that would affect both the amp and the filter well. And that's what we're getting at here. At some point, you might want your filter to have a different um, envelope directed to it than the envelope that's going to control your amp. You might want something different happening in the filter than what's happening with the volume, because that's what the amp is. In this instance, the envelope generator is controlling the volume over time of the amp. At the same time, it's controlling over time the frequency cutoff point. Now, you can circumvent this, which is to say, you can take, for example, the envelope out from envelope generator one, and you can use it to control, well, your low pass filter. Bam. But then you have to set it. And now you can hear the amp, the volume of the sound over time, being controlled by envelope generator two is different than this really short little tiny envelope that's affecting the filter cutoff point of low pass filter. Which already gives you a different sound than you would get if you didn't do any patching. And that's only one cable. Pow, massive difference. And we can also direct this to the high pass filter if we wanted, which we're not currently using, but we'll make it so we are. So right off the bat, you've got a great diversity of sound that can be had because you can direct the envelope that you're really not usually even using. I mean, it's only directed to your frequency modulation. And sometimes you're not going to want your frequency modulated, in which case, just by the normal wiring, you're going to be using envelope generator two for pretty much everything. So you have the ability to use this envelope generator, which is not used to do your bidding. And that's awesome. Let's also remember that we have the patching option of rev out, which is envelope generator uh, one's signal inversed. So you can hear the difference. Gosh, for, usually when I plug in an inverted envelope generator, I, it doesn't do what I want it to. So I'm very happy that this is happening. It's a great example. We'll be able to hear the difference. That is the inverted envelope of the envelope generator one. And this is the regular. So you can hear there's kind of an opposite nature to it. And if you don't think so, at least just go along with me. <clears throat> so we can direct envelopes anywhere that there's an input. So we just did it with both filters. We can also do it with total, which means if you'll remember, total is sent. It's kind of like your only mult. It's your only mixing where one signal is sent to multiple places. 
and instead of total, it should just say multiple, it's being sent. Now the signal, the output from envelope generator one is being directed to uh, the oscillators in both filters. And then when something is plugged in in total, these top knobs in the modulation sections, those become your total. Uh, the degree to which whatever you have plugged into total will affect these various functions. Um, you can recognize it where it has T E X T or text, although it doesn't spell text because there's a period in there. Anyway, there's our sound. Sounds pretty normal. Now we can direct, we're directing envelope generator one to control these three things. Okay. You can hear it controlling the frequency modulation. This is no longer MG, no, no longer is the modulation generator using this knob. That knob is now used by our patching, which you can hear. You can hear the different effect that that envelope has on the filters and the pitch. So you can direct the envelope there. You can direct the envelope to the um, oscillators, but why would you do that? You've already have EG one directed to the oscillators if you don't have a cable in. So that's kind of a pointless thing to try, but there could be a, an instance where you wanted to do that. I can't think of it. We can also, and this is really convenient. If you're like, okay, I want the volume of my sound to be pretty basic. I want it to start quiet, get louder, and then get softer. Now I don't need, you know, sustain and all those things going on. Um, you can take envelope generator one, which currently is not controlling your amplifier. Currently envelope generator two is, and you can patch that into initial gain, which is a voltage control port for your amplifier. So now envelope generator two is no longer controlling the amp envelope generator one is. So then if you wanted envelope generator two, a more complex envelope to control your filter, you can direct that to um, like your filter. So now the envelope generator two is controlling the filter Envelope generator one is controlling the amp simply because we directed envelope generator one. And you can do the negative thing too. Let's see if it works this time. It holds it open. We're used to hearing things held open by an inverted envelope in the filter, not so much in the amp because sometimes we want sounds to stop. But that's also a good thing to, you know, if you want this thing just going so you can go crazy. You know, basically it allows that inverted nature says, okay, the amp's always on. So you can, you know, go wild with your crazy mad self doing whatever. What does this movement mean? What, what the heck was I going for with that? Okay, so any function that is an input, an envelope can be directed to. We can also, we have an output for envelope generator two that is inverted that we could direct somewhere like, for example, to the pitch. Let's listen to what that would sound like. So if you want to do inverted envelopes doing wacky things, you have an output for that that you can direct to an input that serves your purpose. So those are the envelopes and how they're directed. You can either direct them by their normal settings, or you can route them wherever there is an input that you want the voltage from put off by the envelope to control either pitch or filter cutoff or loudness or something. And that is the envelope.